<laughs> kind of met by accident. Yeah, she was friends with one of my little sisters in high school, so I probably met her when she was this big. First, you know, you just start dating, but after a while, I think, hey, this might be a keeper because she never complained about not going to movies or going out. And all we ever did was go shed hunting and looking for deer, and this might be the right one. It's like basically she does everything you want to do and doesn't <laughs> complain. That's what's terrible. <laughs> When I was an engineer, hunting was what was on my mind. I quit on October 1st, which is opening day of deer season. Just moved to Iowa, I don't care what I'll do. Like I said, you're either gonna sink or swim. When he called me up and he's like, hey, I just quit my job, do you wanna move to Iowa? I was like, sure, let's go. And literally that week, we packed up and moved down to Iowa and never even batted an eye. I've always been a whitetail nut. I mean, antlers, shed hunting, all that stuff. Aubrey Gale called and said, hey, we're thinking about doing another TV show. Would you guys be interested in being the host of it? This is two weeks after I quit. Well, the timing is right. As you can see, it's 12 years later, and we're still here, so we did something right. People who don't hunt don't understand that I don't blow the dust off my bow October 1st and go out hunting. This stuff you do in the off season is the hunting to me. It's like you spend a 1,000 hours all summer planting food plots, scouting, cameras, feeders. By the time October 1st gets here, let's see what we learn and put it to use. It's like nobody goes out on a golf course to learn how to golf. You spend hours on a putting green and a driving range, then you go to the golf course to see what you've learned. You shoot at 100, 130 yards all the time. And not that you want to shoot an animal that far, but it makes you 50 yard shots that you used to be your group used to be like this, now it's putting every one of them in a four inch circle. Especially you go out west, if you're not shooting 50 yards in a yeah, wide open country game. like that, you're out of the game. It doesn't matter really what you want to do. If you want to be successful at something, you have to work hard. Every day we get up and do you know, things that we love, and that's around deer and hunting and nature and being outside, and who would ever thought? It's too short, you gotta live for today because you never know if you'll have tomorrow.